Hello everyone. Being able to replicate something that exists in the real world is a skill that every texture artist requires. My name is Zach Boxall and I'll be showing you the steps that I took to recreate this space capsule one-to-one -one based on photographic reference. We'll dip into Mari, Substance Painter, Designer and Photoshop, but really the goal here is to understand each step and not just follow along. We'll go through the whys and hows so by the end of this series you'll be able to apply these theories onto your own models. It's also worth noting that we won't be using any third-party plugins at any point. For those of you that are already familiar with Mari and are used to working with layers, we're going to be texturing exclusively in the NoGraph. I'll show you how the NoGraph can allow you to work more efficiently and organised in a procedural yet non-destructive manner in order to get full coverage as a base, but we'll hand paint details on each mask to fully realise and match our reference. With nearly four and a half hours of content, we'll go from beginning to end, starting with grading the onset photos, removing shadows and highlights, making tile levels and building the colour map. We'll then break the texturing into the various layers required for current physically based renderers. We'll paint all channels in isolation and work in different details into each map to ultimately help define a surface that's visually interesting but also matches our reference. We'll paint maps such as specular roughness, different levels of displacement and isolation masks for further control in look development. We'll also go through how to create multi-layered procedural edge wear and dirt masks from scratch inside of Mari, similar to the smart masks that you can get inside of Substance Painter. The emphasis is on using these procedural techniques as a base. We will then hand paint details on top to art direct and paint hero moments to help tell a story with your asset. And finally, all along the way, I'll show you how I work non-destructively in anticipation for feedback expected in a production environment. I'm really excited to get started. I've got a lot to show you, and I can't wait to have you on board. Cheers.